and welcome back to a brand new PDG Live video. Today I'll be showcasing the Loyal 3 along with the Petrant EX from the newly released set Shrouded Fable. So that being said, let's get into the decklist. Let's see which cards we'll be running. So we do run the two copies of the Petrant EX, mostly for its ability Subjugating Chains, where we can freely switch out our Dark type Pokemon from the bench into the active, as well as we do get to put Poison status on that Pokemon as well. So the reason why we want the Poison status is for our Ogie Dogi EX with the Chain Craze. If we have Poison on Ogie Dogi, we can do 260 damage with Chain Craze. We also do have the one copy of the Monkey Dory EX, which also does benefit with the Pitcher Run EX being on your bench, because if it is, and your opponent takes a knockout on this Monkey Dory EX, they can only take one prize card for this. We also do have the one copy of the Fizzantipity EX for the ability Flip the Script. If you had a Pokemon knocked out last turn, you can draw three cards with Flip the Script. For our V-Star power, we do run the Dark Ride V-Star for the Star Abyss power where we can put two item cards out of our discard pile and put them right into our hand. We also do have the one copy of Roaring Moon EX for that Frenzied Gouging just in case we want to take a guaranteed knockout. We also do have the one copy of Cobalion for the Charizard EX matchup where Ogi Dogi can max out at 300 damage with the Binding Mochi and the Poison status and this will give us the last 30 damage to knock out Charizard EX. And lastly we have the one copy of Squawka Billy EX. This is a turbo deck and ideally you do want to go second on your first turn so you can set up with Squawka Billy and hopefully take the first knockout of the game. Moving on to the trainer cards, for our ace spec we do have a secret box where we have to discard three other cards in our hand to use this card, and then we can search out our deck for a item card, tool card, supporter card, and a stadium card. For our stadium cards we do run the two copies of Pokestop to help us find item cards. For our supporter cards we do have the one copy of Boss just to gust up one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. One copy of Iono just for draw support and disruption. Four copies of Janine's Secret Art where we can choose two dark type Pokemon and attach a dark energy to each of them. And if we attach a dark energy to our active Pokemon, it is also poisoned. And for our tool cards, we do have three copies of the Binding Mochi. If our Pokemon is poisoned, it will do an extra 40 damage with this tool card. And lastly, we just have the 12 dark energies. So those are all the cards in this deck that I want to talk about, and let us see how it'll do in the matches. So they're a pretty decent starting hand. I can definitely see us getting a first turn knockout with it. Especially we got the Pinchurant and the uh, Fizendipity and this spell. Yeah, it looks like they're going to be the Regidrago. Which I do feel like Regidrago does like going first. So... We get Ogre Pond. So they nest ball again, so I'm guessing another Ogre Pond. So they get the two energies. And they used canceling clone. So I feel like we do have an okay matchup here with the Reggie Drago. Ideally, would want to use the Ogie Dogi against it because we can hit 300 and just one hit KO the Reggie Drago V Star.
or even the monkey dory will be more than enough because monkey dory does 230 we can knock out at least a v with it So you need to use energy switch. Oh yeah, they have all their eggs in one basket on that Registrago. It's Nest Ball for the Greninja. Yeah, I feel like we might as well Dark Patch. And let's use the Squawk and Seize. Yeah, I feel like Doggy Doggy is the way to go. We do the 260. We don't have the binding mochi, but 260 is more than enough. So we get Ultra Ball and Dark Patch. Yeah, I feel like there's no way they can really win this now at this point. And they super run. What did they super run? Reggie Drago, VV Star, and Grass. Okay, so they do have Radiant Zard. Yeah, they just can see. Yeah, let's say we do get a mulligan here. Let's see, of all cards of all Pokemon, we get into Dark Ride V. It looks like this is probably going to be a mirror match. Yeah, there's the Monkey Dory. I got Ogie Dogi EX, so they're definitely a mirror match here. Get the squawk, put out Pokestop, use the concealed cards, tracking shoes, 
Yeah, it'll keep the monkey dory. Go to Squawk and Seize. Let's try the Pokemon Catcher here. Use Earthen Vessel. Yeah, we need the pinch on Here's Pokestop. Wow, not a single Dark Patch. Yep, that's all we really needed. Let's just end turn. They're looking pretty bad. All we needed was just one dark patch just to put the last energy on Monkey Dory. They got Nespo. They get their pinch around onto the bench. They dark patch. So maybe they don't even have the knockout. Oh wow, they have research. I got Cobalion as well. A Nest Ball, probably for Greninja. Yeah, they do get the Greninja down. Yeah, they're switching out into the Fizendipity. So yeah, they don't have the knockout. Unless they have Dark Patch, another one for the Ogi Dogi. And they retreat on to Pinturin. Poker slump. It's kind of trekking shoes. Yeah, I guess we'll take the energy just so we can use Greninja. I'm just surprised we didn't see a single dark patch here. Okay, how much do we do? 220. I'm a star biz for the pal pad. Find a dark patch. So 
see what we get. There's a Janine and Binding Mochi. They go into their Monkey Dory. So I feel like if they don't find another Pinchorin to put onto the bench, uh, it's going to be kind of tough. Because they won't be able to get the free switch-ins and get the poison onto their Pokemon. A Dark Patch. A Pokestop. They get Ultra Ball. Yeah, they're just gonna Ultra Ball for the Pinterent. Yeah, there it is. Guess let's get Ogie Dogie here. Use Poker Slap. These concealed cards. We definitely need a dark patch. Wow, still nothing for the dark patch. Yeah, we'll just go for the 190 here. I don't know what happened in the dark patches. There's literally just one in the discard pile. There's one. Look at the Fizzin Dippity in play. So maybe there's some dark patches here in the dis in the prize stack. There's one of them. <clears throat> okay, that was the last one. That was pri was the prized one. Yeah, I feel like there's no way they can win this unless they go into their monkey door, I believe. So we still... Yeah, our boss should be in the deck. No, they actually don't even go into the monkey door, interestingly. 
So we should be able to take the knockout with the pinch run. Yeah, we even do drawn to boss. Trying to poke a stop. Yeah, I forgot we can't use Pinchurant's ability to put it into the active. So we need the energies in a deck and use the Janine. Okay, now we can retreat out. And that's the last two prizes. That was a pretty close game. Let's see what was prized. See, Dark Energy and uh, Pokemon Catcher. Looks like it's probably gonna be Reggie Drago V Star here. Yeah, definitely Reggie Drago. I don't know why they switched into the Red Dragon V. I guess they want to use the Power Glass. Yeah, we're just gonna have to go for the squawk and seize. Put out Okie Dogie. Roaring Moon, Ninja. And that was a really good squawk and seize, honestly. Because we basically got everything we need. Yeah, I'm not even gonna chance of the concealed cards. So. Let's just go for the knockout. Okay, there's a Janine and Dark Energy. It looks like they research away. And um, they even had the Red Drago V Star in their hand, so they definitely wanted to evolve it up and probably use the Legacy Star and all that stuff. Okay, for some reason they bench Squawk Billy. Uh, I don't know why.
Yeah, I really have no idea why they bunched Clock of Billing. I guess they want to use the Motivate. Use the Janine. Then the concealed cards. Guess we'll get the Fizendipity just in case. It's not got squawk. So we've got Ogi Dogi and Nest Ball. Cause yeah, I believe they should knock us out with the Ogre Pond. I believe they'll do like 210 or something. They use Thornton. So what are they getting? They get the Regidrago V out. They get the Regidrago V star. Wow, that was a really bad Legacy Star. Just because they lost four energies just for that Legacy Star, which is kind of bad. I'm assuming they're gonna probably get the Earthen Vessel or the Fire Energy and then one other card. And I could possibly use Neuvern EX next turn to at least a Corvette Flight attack. So. Let's see what they got. We got Research in the Reggie Trago. Yeah, they got Fizendipity. So they're gonna research and then use this endipity. Or did they already use a supporter card? Yeah, they already used the Thor and they can't research this turn. Yeah, there's possibility they might go for the covert flight here. So it says here prevent all damage. I feel like we should be able to use the frenzy gouging though. No, they just go for. I think it was the rolling iron. Yeah, they went for the rolling iron. Yeah, let's just go for the frenzied gouging. And there we go. Last two prizes. Pal pad and heavy ball. Nice. They're really not the greatest starting hand, honestly. I think they're gonna be future box, so. Let's see. 
Which I feel like Future Box definitely likes going second instead, so... I can't attack on this first turn. I get one energy off the generator. Second generator, wow. Let's try the Greninja first. Try to poke us up. Oh, we lost the squat that we <laughs> needed. That was a really bad focus on. It's Earth and Vessel. I'll take wrong moon. Yeah, I'll just pass. Okay, I'm just gonna get the Techno Radar off the Pokestop, but they lost Research and Arvin. Sealed cards. Hmm, let's try to focus that. Yeah, that wasn't too good. Yeah, let's get rid of the Pokestop. They do techno radar. So I'm trying to knock us out. Because 
they do what? 220, I believe. You just flip the script and draw those three cards. Yeah, let's use Secret Box. Or Ultra Ball and Nest Ball. Use the Trigon Shoes, Ultra Ball, we'll pass on that. Dark Energy. And let's go into Monkey Dory, take the knockout. See what we get. Boss and Dark Patch, that's actually pretty good. So even if they knock out Monkey Door, I think they will, but they'll only take one prize for it. Yeah, because they got an extra 60 damage, so they'll be doing two, Yeah, let's use Night Stretcher, get the Monkey Dory back. Dark Patch. And let's use Flip the Script. Draw three cards. Nice, there's the Janine that we need. Oh wow, there's only one energy left in the deck. I completely forgot. We needed the 10 damage on Iron Hands. Let's 
see, unless I'm gonna vacuum the capsule away. Oh well, I feel like even with the misplay we should be fine. So then we can draw the three cards here. Yeah, I feel like even with the misplay we're fine, because we can move the 10 damage to the Iron Hands to knock it out. And then boss up whatever we need. I don't know, we don't even need to boss anything up, we just <laughs> wanted to KO the Iron Crown. <laughs> nice. There's a binding mochi. Well, those are all the matches. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.